Hi, I'm Brett, and I'd like to show you a new Unity plugin I'll be releasing soon. The plugin is a mesh reduction utility that can reduce the number of polygons used in a model. So let's get started. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to need a mesh to reduce. I've got a dragon straight out of Poser 2012. This dragon is about, uh, it's not too bad, it's 20,000 verts and 34,000 triangles but not very suitable for a game as it is. So what we do is we select the model and then we come up and to our plugins menu and choose convert selection. And the convert selection is going to open up this uh, conversion window. Now in this window there's only two things that you really need to set. The first is the file suffix. So when we generate the uh, lower polygon version of our model we're going to need to create a new prefab. So this will be the name of the prefab. It's going to take the original name and it's going to add this as a suffix. The default is a space plus LOD to make the file name look pretty, but you can change this to anything you like. And then for quality, the default is at 0 0.5. 0 0.5 basically means 50% quality. If you put this to one, it's basically going to give you your input mesh just going to pass it right on through. If you choose zero, this is going to be the lowest possible quality that the plugin can generate. This is so low quality that you won't really want to use this in a game. So the good thing is that basically you're going to have a range, something here from low to one, and that's going to give you um, complete control over your final output mesh. But we're just going to start, we're going to leave this back where it was. It doesn't really matter, but I'll just put in a 0.5 and we're going to convert that and it's done very quickly. Let's drag that out, drop it into the scene, and let's take a look at what we got. So zoom in here a bit, have a look-see around. So we can see that we got our mesh here, it's not too bad, and then I can actually tweak it after the fact. So in this case, this is a skin mesh render, and it's attached to the hip, so I've selected the hip, and if I scroll down, I will see that we have our controller here, and it's telling me that currently the mesh was giving me, um, for this particular mesh, was 20, almost 21,000 verts and 34,000 plus triangles. So I've got live preview and I can just go ahead and drag this. So if I can just drag this all the way down and if I just go all the way to zero, you can see it's kind of a useless mass of lumps of polygon. If I put it all the way up at one, then this is the original mesh that it was given. So what we do is we uh, bump this down until visually it looks pretty good and it's kind of reduced. That actually doesn't look too bad right there. That's pretty minimal and then that's reduced it to 1600 verts and almost 1700 polygons. So that's pretty good. Straight out of Poser and started out with a, a fairly high resolution mesh. Now let's take a look at something that's uh, much more complicated than that. So I'll just go ahead and delete that. I also have a motorcycle that I've picked up from off the internet from Soft Image. And if I convert this, this will be a little bit more. Now this one, we're really going to crunch down. I'm going to put this down to like 0.1. So that means it will be roughly one-tenth of the original size of the model. So this model here is 320,000 polygons, 170,000 verts. So we convert that down, and then it gives us the uh, progress. You can see it's doing all the sub-meshes. When that's done, it's created our thing and st stuck it into our project hierarchy. So let's pull out the original one and let's zoom this a bit so we can actually see it. Okay. And let's move that out of the way. So we just put that at 10. Now let's take our new one. Let's bring that out. Let's put that at negative 10. So now we can see them side by side and it actually looks quite good. If you click on this one, you can see there's a fender. If I click over here, fender, very big difference. It's about one-tenth. So on this one, if I click over here, we want to adjust. Again, same thing. You can see that <clears throat> basically the fender in the original was 4,000 verts. And right now we've reduced it to only 453. So I can just drag this down even more so I can go and touch up. Now this is very useful for places where there are problems. So if you see over here on the drive belt, for instance, <clears throat> we've reduced this too far and it's kind of cutting through right here. So I simply click on it and then I come down here and then I can just increase this one part a little bit and then that fixes that. 
And so you can start out with a um, basic uh, unit and play around with it. And then you can go, and like I said, you can come and click and reduce these a little bit more each time until you're happy with it. There will be, in the final release version, something like uh, what I call a dashboard. And from that dashboard, you'll actually be able to browse the hierarchies of the models and adjust everything really quickly and easily from there. Thanks for taking time to check out this new plugin, and any feedback is greatly appreciated. You can email me at rhettbibby at gmail.com or check out the Unity forums. Thanks.